of Boydy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's MOG and Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Four Nights of the Apocalypse Chapter 143. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Kitty, who's somewhere around here, hopefully not causing chaos, oh my god, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... I feel so bad for Bertle. I, I really, really do. Because, um, you know, he found out that there is the drug of yore. That if he did drink the drug of yore, that he would be able to live in the Fairy King's um, forest. But uh, he saw King offer it to Nysons. And, of course, he ran. Uh, he was he was upset, but Nysons. I gotta give props to Nysons because Nysons is like, no, why are you offering it to me when you saw me struggling? First of all, if you knew it was possible that uh, um, that that could help me bring uh, Percival back, when your your adopted son, well, your changeling son, has been, you could have helped him instead. Could have given it to him and helped him instead. That's a shitty parent right there. That's you're a shitty father for doing that. And I'm so proud of Nysons for saying that. But now, Myrtle might be tempted by chaos. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. King feeling a bit nervous. Who me? Never. Well, that's gonna be Myrtle when uh, when they were a baby. Um, and this chapter's titled Tragedy. Why? 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 Why, my father? Why did it go to that outsider? Because that's his, technically his son! Why did it go to me? What angers you, Myrtle? What brings you to despair? You're still here? No need to glare at me. Perhaps we misread each other earlier, but I believe we both stand to benefit. What do you think? Could you lend me your power, please? Then I will make your wish come true instead. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm not about to bargain with some total stranger like you. Ooh, we've both been rejected by our peers. I think we'd understand each other. You... What? A two-headed lizard man? So, the Oracle is a two-headed lizard man? What the fuck? Yes, the son of a pitiful race created by an ancient mage on a whim. They once feared us as the descendants of dragons, supposedly. Um, but, uh, but now I'm reviled as an ugly monster. No one can live alone, it's true. But no world is willing to accept a sinister-looking lizard man sorcerer. None but King Arthur, that is. Bullshit! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit! Ar once you've outlived your usefulness, Arthur's gonna kill you too. Because Arthur, remember what Arthur has said. Unless you're human, you're gone. He doesn't want, he thinks the world is only meant for humans. So once your usefulness is done, you're gone, bro. Yes, the king offered me Camelot as a place to live. He is a true king, one who offers his hand to all, even the least privileged. Not you, bro. He is using you. He is using you. I find that hard to believe. The story say King Arthur detests all non-humans. A mere difference of perception. He only hates the four clans that continually tormented the humans with war. Bro, you are going to be next. He says any, he says all non-human species. That includes you. You are one of them. So returning to my offer, our king is seeking a certain drug of yore passed down by the fairy clan. But they're clamping down on outsiders going into their realm. As they see it, they must have a trap near the entrance that identifies and fends off enemies. Even reaching their king is difficult, much less opening talks with him. Ha, huh, well, sorry, but trying to negotiate won't help you. The fairy king would never give that drug to a human. Then lend me a hand. My king needs that drug to help those who suffer in his domain. Um, 
help me and I promise to give you the power to dispel all that anger and despair. Don't do it! Oh, sorry down there. I'm kind of in a hurry. King, where can you be? Uh, King! Um, oh, King, what will we do? Um, listen, I think Tiare is ca starting to catch on a bit, a bit about Nysons. We're only not be far behind. If so, Diane. King? I just so hate, so, so hate it. I'll never recover from this. What? Hated by whom? By Nysons. He called me thick-headed and bad days. He said I anger him and me. I had the biggest look of scorn on his face. And I thought giving him the drug was the right thing to do. And now, look. What? Didn't you say you keep quiet about the drug if you were a king? But well, I know how hard he was working to craft medicine for his friend. Not that I thought just forking the drug over would be trampling all over that effort. But every single day he trudges out of the tunnel of whispers, shoulders slumped low. And I just couldn't stand seeing my own child like that. So it is true. Oh, the kids heard it. Kids, why are you all here? Val told us about what Mom said to Tiore. No wonder you were so oddly close with that human. I can't believe Nysons was our brother all along. Mom, Dad, if all of that is true, why do you keep that the, the drug from Merle who you raised as your own son instead just give it to some guy you happen to be related to? It's not like that. Yes, I tried to give it to him, but he refused it. Huh? But why do you know about that? Because, oh, because Merle and I watched you. Uh, and we heard everything you and Nyson said. What is even the matter with that man? Oh, now I've got to do this by myself. I've got to make Percival wake up for me. Uh-oh. Myrtle. I know I chided you about being too big for your britches. But like Nyson said, you're so kind to everyone. I know all your good traits. So... No matter what, you're still our big brother, all right? Nysons, huh? And all who side with him. Oh, no! They all have to pay. Do you want to take everything from me? <gasps> he did No! He did I knew it. I knew he was going to do it. I knew it. He fell to chaos. I fucking knew it. But dude, that fucking mage being, so the one who did the prophecy was a two-headed lizard mage? But was he, he didn't say if he was born that way or not. I, I'm guessing he was, but bro, yeah, he said he was. But man, he's being lied to by Arthur. There is something more to this. There is definitely more to this. Will, now the question is, will Myrtle be purified? Part of me is like, Nysons will probably, I would like Nysons to be the one to purify him. But, and, I feel like Nysons has to be the one to do it. He has to. He needs to be the one to do it. Because I think it will come into play down the line. It will. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's going to come into play uh, that, uh, well, the, no, it might not be Nysons that has to, that might do it. I feel like King and Diane are probably going to be the ones to do it, that, that should do it, because they, because it's, no, King needs to be the one to do it in all reality, let's be real. King needs to do it, um, because it's kind of his fault. But there's also... Part of me is just like, I feel like Nysons needs to do it. Part of me feels like Nysons needs to extract the chaos from, uh, from Myrtle because I feel like that's going to be 
a key to bringing Percival back. Because remember, remember what chaos is, okay? Chaos is a mixture of, um, of light, of a uh, demon and goddess, of light and darkness. I feel like that's, for just some reason, I feel like that is going to be a key to bringing back Percival. Just something, I don't know why, just something in my gut tells me that that's going to be the case. But let me know your, th but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you, what you guys think? Do you guys think that this is going to be either a key to bring Percival back? Or do you think this is going to be a key, um, this is going to be used as a way to purify the chaos out of Arthur? Oh, that actually might be it. I feel like this is going to be important to purify, because remember, that Arthur is a host to chaos. If they can get the chaos out of Myrtle, they will be able to get the chaos, use that to get the chaos out of Arthur and ultimately defeat him. I think that's what this is going to be. This is going to be foreshadowing of that. That's what I think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Four Nights of the Apocalypse content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.